Hi there. In this video, you'll find a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to manage your unattended robots in modern folders. In a common, unattended setup, you would need a group of machines connected to Orchestrator using the same template key and some user entities whose credentials are used by the robot to log in on the machines and access Orchestrator resources. We start from the assumption that you already connected the machines to Orchestrator. To this end, you should have a template already defined on your tenant. Each machine connected to Orchestrator, using its key, has a number of available slots for execution, equal to the runtimes allocated to the template. Next, we need to define the user entities. To do this, navigate to the Users page, in the Management menu. We already have a few defined. To add a new one, click Add. For the purpose of this video, we will create a local user. Type their username, and in the User Details section, grant the user, the Enable Running Automations role, at the tenant level. This gives the user, permissions to run automations. If there are no other changes you want to make for the user details, jump right into the Unattended Robot section. Enable the Robot Creation toggle, and fill in the domain, and username, of your user. Next, in the Credential Stores field, select the location where, the credentials are stored. In this example, we are using the Orchestrator database. Make sure to also add the right credentials for the user, otherwise, the robot won't be able to authenticate and execute any processes. You can stop right here with the configuration and click Add to have the robot created. However, if you also want to customize the robot settings, simply navigate to the corresponding section and make the desired changes. Remember to enable the toggle for each field in order to make it editable. When you're done, click Add. A modern robot with your settings is created. Next, we need to grant the user and the machines access to the processes in a folder. In order to do that, navigate to the Folders page and add the user previously created to the folder which contains the processes. In this example, we want user to have access to the processes in the Finance folder, so we grant them automation user permissions on that folder. To make the processes in the folder available at machine level, we add the template to the same folder as well. A robot can access and execute processes from multiple folders, just as long as both the user and the template used to connect it to Orchestrator are added to each folder. You can always keep an eye on the machine's or runtime's health on the Folder Overview page in the Monitoring menu. At this point, all processes in the finance folder can be started on the robot associated to that user, directly from Orchestrator. You can start a job from multiple locations in Orchestrator, but for the purpose of this example, we perform this operation from the jobs page. Jobs are dynamically executed on a robot by automatically pairing the users and machines in your environment. And that's how easy it is to manage unattended robots with Orchestrator. Thanks for watching.